Uh, welcome to section 11. Uh, today we'll be covering the design of walls, so the Australian Standards uh, section 11. So looking at the standard and the commentary in section 11.1 to 11.3, it states that the wall must be designed as a slab if the axial forces do not exceed the minimum of 0 0.03 times the strength of the concrete or 2 MPa and also the ratio of the height to thickness does not exceed 50. So for a 200 uh, thick wall, this will be a 10 metre high uh, wall, which is quite uncommon. And also what not stated here is uh, for it to be a wall other than a column, the aspect ratio, which is the length to the width of the cross section, has to be uh, usually greater than three. So getting into section uh, 11.4, which talks about the effective height. So first of all, for one-way buckling, you've got K equals 0 0.075, where restraint against rotation is provided at both ends. So in this case, this will be uh, both ends of the, of the wall being fixed, so providing uh, no restraint, or sorry, providing restraint against rotation, and then K equals 1, and that's for uh, the both ends of the wall having pinned connections or pinned supports. Also, you've got uh, two-way buckling, which can be found in the code. So this is with lateral support on three sides provided by floors and intersecting walls. And C, which is two-way buckling with lateral support on four sides provided by floors and intersecting walls. But one-way buckling will be the most common, and that will be covered in this course. Here we have section 11.5, uh, which will give you axial capacity for the wall. So we have the equation NU equals the thickness of the wall minus 1.2E, which is the eccentricity in clause 11.5.2, which we'll get into soon, uh, minus 2EA, which is an additional eccentricity taken as the height on the wall squared divided by 2,500 times uh, the thickness of the wall times 0.6, and obviously a function of the strength of the concrete. The eccentricity here we have a uh, case one. So for a discontinuous floor, it is one third of the depth of the bearing area measured from the span of the face in the wall. Uh, in the case of in situ concrete uh, floor being poured over, then the eccentricity will be zero. This is the shown here in case two, where the floor above has zero eccentricity and the uh, current floor has a also, the thickness of the wall divided by 3 as the eccentricity. Or, as stated in below 11.5.2b, the resultant eccentricity of the load from A and B shall be calculated but taken as not less than 0.05 times the thickness of the wall.